Yeah, what's good? Back, pack, gang, 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 gang. What up, gang? Look, I know a lot of y'all see a lot of dribble tutorials and best animation videos, but this video is a step before all of that. Let's say you're a guard. You're just making your first guard this year. You've been a center all your life, or you just bought 2K. You don't know what the hell you're doing. This video is for you, and also might be for some of y'all advanced dribblers too, if you just don't know some of this information. But I hope this helps y'all out. These so, are my as animations. You look through the list. These are all my animations. Like I said, these are probably the best animations in the game. So you probably definitely gonna want to put these on. Only thing I might change is the signature combo. I might put that on Baron Davis. But other than that, these are all the best animations in the game. Now what I want to do here is you see the different titles for the different dribble animations. Like dribble style, signature size up, signature combo. A lot of people see this and they just put on these animations. They don't know how to trigger them or how to do them. That's what I'm here for. So we're going to start off with the dribble style. Quick. So dribble style, quick. First off, the dribble style is the way you move and dribble while moving just your left stick. So as you can see, I'm just moving my left stick. I might do an animation that do a step back just to show you. But this is all left stick movement. But the biggest key to dribble style is it changes your speed boost animations. As you can see right there, the little left to right quick ass cross like that, that's a dribble style. A lot of people don't even know how to trigger that. That's your dribble style animation. If you always wonder why you can't get that animation, put on dribble style quick and you'll do it. You'll see me spamming back and forth right here. This is all left stick work. I'm just showing you straight dribble style action. So you can see all the different between the legs. It also helps with splitting defenders. Some dribble styles have split the defender animations while you're dribbling up the court. But this is why you want dribble style quick, bro. But on to the next one. Signature size up. Kimba Walker. To trigger the signature size up, as you see right here, you just move the right stick any direction, bro. That's how you trigger your signature style. You just flick it. Anywhere you flick it, that's gonna determine, that's gonna be determined by your signature style so whatever dribble animation you choose you'll see the difference as you change them it's going to change how you go between the legs how you go behind the back how you do all of that make sure you're not holding right trigger and it's going to have a multitude of different combos but if you go between the legs behind the back or however you combo chain it up it's going to have a different animation play out depending on the signature style the Kimbo Walker one, I love it because you can spam it up quick. Look at the between the legs animation right there. You can spam it up fast as you want. And it has a great between the legs behind the back animation. Remember, this is not a tutorial. This is just breaking down animations. A dribble tutorial will come later. Signature combo. Now this, simple. All you got to do is stand there, hit right trigger, Hold your turbo and flick up on the right stick. Just hold turbo and flick up on the right stick. And you see how you can cancel it out and just speed boost out of it? That's what makes signature size ups so damn important, bro. You pick a good one and you can get an instant speed boost. But it's an easy way to get open. This is an easy way to look flashy. It's, if you don't know how to dribble, this will be your go-to. Size up escape. Now, this is one of the most unstoppable moves in the game. A lot of people use this. So, to trigger the size up escape, you hold your turbo button and flick your right stick in any direction. That is what this is. The size up escape. And as you can see, you gain cover a lot of ground as you do each and every move, bro. Everything you do holding turbo and flicking your right stick will trigger this. And Trey Young has some of the best ones. He creates some of the most space. Zach Levine is another good one. But as you can see, you cover a lot of ground and it's going to be hard to stay in front of you. That little cheesy behind the back that kind of looks like a curry slide. That is the Trey Young. 
I know you. if you watch any comp YouTubers play or any comp Twitchers, they're going to show you the little behind-the-back dribble that's going to get them massive amounts of space. That is the Trey Young combo, man. I mean, size up escape. Next, we have the moving crossover. Simple enough. You moving and you cross over. So to trigger this, you drive toward the basket or wherever you at and just flick up on your right stick. You flick up, you're going to do a moving crossover. You change it by changing the animation, but you'll be able to tell if you go through the animations and you change them and then you go back to this video and watch this and, and I'm telling you how to do it. You do it and guess what? It's going to change. So you just flick up while moving. That's your moving crossover. You can double tap it and you'll do a double cross, but it's all the same thing as your moving crossover. I'm hoping I'm helping somebody here. There's a lot of people that don't know what they're doing out here. I'm just trying to help. A lot of y'all know this stuff. This video might not be for you. Moving behind the back. Damian Lillard. This is Pro 3 from some of the old days. You'll see a lot of YouTubers with this behind the back. It's very quick. It breaks ankles and it blows right by people. To trigger this, you flick down, diagonal down left on the, on the analog stick, bro, while you're driving toward the basket. And it's going to do a simple behind the back. You don't hit straight down. You're going to do a snatch back. It's kind of got to be diagonal left or diagonal right. And you do it moving towards the basket. Simple enough. Moving spin. A lot of people don't know this spin. This is the glitchy spin. Basic. I know you don't want to be basic out here, but I'm telling you, this is the spin you want. You don't want no other spin. You see that glitchy spin right there where you just spin straight back to where you are? No other spin has this animation. I promise you. And in the beginning of the video, if you seen me do the spin, shoot the green, that is this spin move animation right here. It's simple enough. It does plenty of spins and it gets you right to the basket. To trigger this, you can either hold right trigger or I recommend not holding right trigger and just spin the right stick to the back to the left or back to the right depending on the hand you're balling just keep playing with it and you'll figure it out now we have the moving hesitation i don't use this too much in this game i'm not gonna lie i used to use it a lot more but to trigger this you either stand still or you move and you flick right stick toward the ball hand so if the ball is in your right hand you flick it right if the ball is in your left hand you flick it left and as you can see you hang it out there and you can speed boost left or right depending on you know what i'm saying how your defender is guarding but that is simple enough you flick it left or right but there's also another hidden little piece where you do kind of like a little hezzy step back you got to be going laterally to uh, like parallel to the basket man and flick it the ball to the same hand but you can see i'm doing a little hang dribble hezzy that is how you do that next we have the moving step back this is op this reminds me of the 2k 15 16 days bro i know y'all remember this crossover if you played way back in the day but op probably the most op move in this game because you create so much space and you can speed boost out of it. But all you do is move parallel toward the basket, not holding right trigger and just or your turbo button and flick down on the right stick. Simple enough, man. And I believe that is all the moves on the list, man. If you next dribble tutorial coming soon, I'm actually going to show you some some stuff. This is just the animations and how to trigger them. But I hope y'all enjoyed this video, man. It's back. And I'm out, man.